Hello. I did something today. I did something a little risky, something I don't usually do, but I did it. I went to a pawn shop and I purchased a random amount of Magic the Gathering cards um, on the spot. I, I haggled a bit, but for the most part, I went with my gut. That's what I did with my gut. My gut said, you know what? You don't have any cards to open right now. You should buy these random amount, random assortment of cards. Some some cards I think, uh, you know what? Maybe maybe we, we're going to go bust here. Maybe it's not going to be good. But uh, I did it. So we spent $220 on about, I don't know, maybe 1,500 cards. But really, these here are the cards I'm interested in. I took a risk. And uh, I want some random cards. You know, I, I do like opening up new fresh packs. These are in really good shape, by the way. But I do like opening up fresh new packs. But I also like just taking a gamble. That's why I have the slot machine behind me. That's what I'm all about. Um, we're going to use Echo MTG to look up the cost for these. Or the, the, the value. I have a value counter. Over there at the bottom. Here we go. Hold on. I'll show you where it is. I'm going to point. Why is this so difficult? I want to point over like this, all right? And then, right there. Right there will be the price, the value counter, which we will. And, uh, Battle of the Frost and Fire. Now this sounds like Game of Thrones. That's a Game of Thrones reference. Three cents. Whoop. How do you, I'm never I've, I'm gonna be truthful. I'm gonna be hundred percent truthful. I've never seen a three. I've never seen such low ranked rare cards before Ever Ever there's, there's another Masswood Nexus. We know that card Not the extended art still three dollars and fifty cents. So we're at 887 837 887 someone someone uh, uh, keep track of that for me Asking the wrong girl. Uh, I don't do math. Doom Scar. Destroy all creatures. Ooh. Doom Scar. Doom Scar is 223. 223. Pretty cool. Is that the same one there? Yeah. yeah. I love the border on those though. The Valkyrie Harbin Harbinger. A lot of Valkyries in this one. A lot. This one is 209 for the Valkyrie Harbinger. 209. We get a couple more of those. It'll help. 14. 22. They have it as a back channel pathway. Is it a flipped card? Is it flipped? Yes. Yeah. It is borderless though. Eight dollars and thirteen cents. That's a good card. Yeah, eight thirteen. That is a beautiful card. I love. I, I like them. They're a little gimmicky, but look at that. Mm -hmm. Not bad. What does the original the side that it's named after say? They are looking. I look small. <laughs> do, you, do you see that? No, you do not have tiny Channel uh, card number three three three. Where you at? It is. I don't know uh, what this is. A forty-six dollar card. What's it called? Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. This is a forty-six dollar card. Hold on. You just pulled a forty-six dollar. Forty-six bucks. Let's go. Let's go! All right. There is a forty-six dollar card, right here, forty-six seventeen. Let's go! It's not foil. It's not foil, but I'll take it. Forty-six seventeen. Um, let me get a. Uh... Yeah, sleeve it up. That's sixty seventy dollars. All right. Hey, all right. All right. Number. 
All right, so $150 away. There's a $46 card. What does it even do? I can't even translate it. I, I, there's no... Is that, wait. What does that even say? This is, that's, let's go. Let's go. Yes. How are you supposed to use that? I don't know, but you need to sleeve that. That is awesome. Let's go. That's, a, that's the second most expensive card in Kaldeheim. It is not foil. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. We got a, a dark boar pathway. Slither boar pathway. Do you have another pathway? Dark boar pathway borderless. Ten dollars and twenty-five cents. Let's go. It's picking up. It's picking up. It's ninety. We're at ninety. We're at ninety bucks. We need some big cards. Sakashima's Sakashima's will. Forty-nine cents. Sakashima's will. Rejuvenating Springs. Rejuvenating Springs non-extended art. Eight seventy-two. Rejuvenating Springs comes up with the eight seventy-two. So I'm talking about. We're over a hundred. One hundred dollars and thirty-nine cents. Time for me to move the tracker over. All right. This is a double-faced card. Two-face. It's a two-face. The Awakening on this one. This one's the same one, but Balakut Awakening. What do you got for us? Five ninety-seven. Let's go. One thirty-one ten. All right, ninety away. Valakut Awakening. There you go. The Bright Climb Pathway. Another pathway. Bright Climb Pathway. Four oh three. Bright. Climb pathway. Alright, here's a mythic rare. Mythic rare. Ancient Green Warden. Ancient Green Warden at number 178. Ancient Green Warden. Warden. Mythic rare. 1199. Alright. Let's go. 1199. 47, 12. <laughs> I will say the most expensive card in this pack is seventeen dollars, oh, but eleven ninety nine. Ooh, I'm not locus of creation. Oh, this isn't on top, so this isn't gonna be great. But it looks dope. Three twelve. Six dollars. It is showcase. Six dollars and fourteen cents. Go. Charix, quick. I think this would be an easy search. Because I have a number. 1999 Magic the Gathering Charlie Radio ZNR bundle. Unique. Yeah, it's still cheap, cheap, cheap. 35 cents. And this one. This one. Oh, I feel bad for him. That is. Really that, that's a Pringle. That's what they call it. That is pringling and really bad. Really bad. So this is cheapy cheap cheap. And I'm gonna find out why these dates are on here. So let's find that out. And it has September 2020 on it. Pre-release promo Magic the Gathering card. That's not what I have. But that's what that is. I just don't know what a price would be on it. Here we go. A dollar seventy-nine for the Coral Chronicle. Chronicle. So what's this? Nighthawk Scavenger. Five ninety-nine, and it did sell. 
So that one's more expensive. Mm. Let's just add five bucks to this. One sixty one seventeen. All right, we need to make sixty bucks out of these cards. One sixty two ninety two. We got nine light. Oh I my love god! That card. Hold on, I. Okay, hold on. That is the best card in existence anywhere ever. Are oh, you kidding me? Oh my god. I don't care if this is worth twenty cents. Look at that. I want to frame it and hang it on the wall. <laughs> Look at that card. I can't. Oh my god, that is so cute. It is adorable. Okay. Okay. That's funny. Nine lives. Okay, let's look it up. It is number 28. Oh, that's not a good sign. 47 cents. Oh, it's, it's worth more than that in my heart. <laughs> Flux at 61. Essence Flux is $9.93. Where do you see that? Oh, in foil, it's foil. Yeah, foil. That's a, that's that's weird. It just shot up for some reason. The foil cost is nine ninety three. Someone just paid. It just it just went up over the last month. Okay. Two hundred nine thirty six. Noise. Giver of runes. Pretty much one card made us here. Mm -hmm. Put us in the in the close to net positive. Uh, we are looking at a card from 2019. The very wide face. Is the Modern Horizons? Yes. Eight dollars and sixty-two cents. All right, that's nice. Puts us at two forty twenty-four. Does it really? Yep. Hiding in the back there. Two forty. Pick that. Two seventy-four ninety-two. And then Sensei's, Sensei's Divining Top. Sensei's Divining Top. I almost gave up on this. You guys. It's the top rated card. Not in foil. But it is... A sixty-nine, $65 card. It's a $65 card. What? Out of nowhere? Oh, was it? We weren't even gonna check that. Out of nowhere? A 65 Sensei's Divining Top? The most expensive card in the uh, Champions? That, like, the most expensive card in Champions. That is incredible. Three thirty-nine ninety-two. Are you kidding me? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's three hundred thirty-nine. That just made it right there. What? Why was it sitting in there just chilling? It's in good shape. What? Let's go! Let's go! That's incredible! Look at the top three cards of your library, put them back in any order. Draw a card, then put Sensei's Divining Top on the on the top of its owner's library. Only costs one, just keep Ebay, it's banned. Let's go! Let's go! Showcase. That's really cool. We have a lot of cards to go through still, and we're at 344.48. Uh, bring that card back up to me here. Together there's over $100. These two cards together over $100. Believe it or not, this uncommon Sensei's, Sensei's Divining Top and then this, you know, epic or uh, mythic rare. $110 worth of cards. That's half the cost I paid for that entire box. Gambling's not easy, but that is really cool. Really cool.